All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, back for another set of Prox Guide of Ori, Will, and the Wisp. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we got to see a specialized tree that was able to give out special abilities for Ori here. And not only that, but we were able to then go and get to see some spirit shards that were also a little bit of like kind of a pick me up, I want to say, for Ori, which we could do some other little uh, neat type of gadgets as well uh, throughout the uh, time that we go and continue onwards throughout this set forest here. And while we are continuing throughout this set, uh, part of the forest that is going on there is going to be some other set upgrades that we can go and still go and find and i will show those off to you guys here in this set episode and uh yes this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than normal because again uh if you guys don't know uh this is somewhat of a blind let's play for myself and i was getting myself a little bit lost here and there trying to figure out exactly where i need to go uh but at least the good thing is is that there is a map and it actually at least somewhat guides you into the way of like uh where if you ever do go and see where exactly where you are on the map uh uh, and if there is like somewhat of like a more like well shaded area that is kind of like uh, unexplained throughout there, then that kind of tells you that you can go and at least somewhat explore within there. Unless if uh, there is a situation where if you do need a specialized ability, which you can't go through it. But uh, that at least somewhat kind of lets us know that we can uh, do at least something around within there. Uh, but for right now, uh, we're going to go and open up with the said keystone door that was uh, around within this type of way from before. If you guys uh, do recall, we only had, I think, only one set type of keystone that we only had in our inventory since we already went and used the other two previously from before from that one uh, particular stranger that we went and saw from the very beginning of this set for us here. And we were able to go and learn how those type of doors work, but... So yeah, so here's the map, uh, just so that if you guys want to know. Uh, later on, we will be getting a, uh, a map uh, that we can go and buy from somebody, and uh, we're going to be able to see a little bit more of what this map actually does have to offer, and there's going to be a lot of unexplained territories that we can go and check around with. Uh, but here we go, got ourselves a little bit of a hidden reward right there, a life cell fragment, so that's basically going to be something very nice for us to go and uh, hopefully get another type of extra type of heart alongside with us here. Because uh, I know that currently for right now, for where we're at with Ori, is that we just only have roughly around with three of those type of uh, said health bars that we do have, so I know it's not really all that too great. And for what we are going to be seeing is that there is going to be some new enemies that will be making their appearance, and the timing for those said enemies are going to be really annoying and uh, just like how Metroid Dread works and just like how the uh, Metroid game on the 3DS was all about timing is a key thing here within this game or else you're just gonna just keep on getting yourself uh, a game over every so often but not to worry there is no really such thing as like I want to say as a game over but just more so of just going into a black screen and just resetting at where you were in your last save but so here we are right now in this particular area. Fortunately, we can't really go and do too much about it. We'll probably have to get ourselves with a much more uh, bigger type of high jump or something to go onto that vine there. But anyways, we're going to have to go and kind of do a little bit of some more backtracking along throughout here. You guys may probably vaguely uh, remember what this place was all about here because... Uh, we will be seeing uh, at some point that there was a arrow uh, that was kind of like leading us to somewhere. And I don't think I ever really went and headed off to that place before. But we are going to be checking that out. And that's where that dude with the map is going to be. But we got ourselves with a new spirit shard that was known for reckless. So if you do want to go for a more crazier type of experience and add that reckless type of shard to Ori. And if you want to have a, a much more increase to the enemy's attack damage, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to really go out of my way to do that just because for the simple fact is I do not want to be running into a problem every so often here within this game. <laughs> I'm not that wild. I'm not doing that like uh, how Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door was going to be. <laughs> if my friend Michael W1999 is actually watching this episode, he'll probably uh, go and maybe do something wild like that. But shout out to him. And if you guys haven't went and checked out with his Let's Plays and stuff, make sure to go ahead and do so. But uh, anyways, uh, we got ourselves with something new there. Uh, I believe that is for a regenerator type of move. So basically what that kind of entails is, is that it looks like Ori will be able to go and kind of slightly heal himself up. So that's pretty nice. At least that's something uh, somewhat a little bit handy if we ever are in a situation like that. Um, but yeah, so it looks like uh, we can kind of do a little bit of some more extra kind of moving around here. So let's go ahead and head up into this way. And it seems like, uh, yeah, here we are right now. We're back over at where this arrow uh, spot is going to be. And here is this guy. And if you have been out of your way and you've been collecting all those type of weird orgy type of currency, I guess, throughout our time out here, uh, you can actually be able to go and buy one of these said maps here. 
and uh, you can be able to see that you're going to be able to have a much more wide range of stuff. So now we're able to go and see quite a bit of everything. So pretty nice there. So at least we got a nice good big chunk of stuff. So uh, we're going to go and head up through this way for right now. And uh, as you guys go and see, there are some of those type of vines that kind of have that blue shimmer to them. I don't think we can really go and actually cut those down at any point. So we'll have to wait again for another set type of thing if we're going to be going after other set of other uh, secrets here for the time being. Watch out for all that purple goop though, because that is very much uh, poisonous water here, which we do not really want to go and touch. But we do go and find something known as resilience. Okay interesting there i guess we could all probably check that out takes 10 percent less damage which i think that would be a much better idea than actually having that reckless move instead <laughs> all right so here we go and it looks like we made it to another little uh, particular area here and uh it looks like we can go and do a little bit of some double jumping around as well too just have to watch out for all the vines as we go along yeah those those uh spiky vines are going to be somewhat of an issue most of the times because uh, I know that there's going to be some other uh, parts within this foresty area where we are going to have to see much more bigger spiky vines there. And we won't be able to do any type of crazy type of jumping unless if there's going to be something that can at, at least somewhat help us. But for right now, we got another one of these rocks here. And it looks like we got ourselves another one of these life cell fragments there. And it seems like we actually now do have a fourth spot added into our health bar there for Ori. So very nice around that. And however, before we go and end off with this episode, we do have this fellow guy. Now, um, I believe we never really went ahead all the way up here because I believe we do need like the double jumping power for this. But if you go and talk back to this guy here, it seems like he has the upgrades um, for the different abilities that we could go and uh, boost up a little bit more. So like uh for one which we are going to go and do here for the end of this episode is that we're actually going to be boosting up our attack and getting a little bit of some more extra damage off. And uh, that'd be pretty nice. So we got ourselves with a Sentry one as well. The Spirit Smash, which we are going to be doing that there. Uh, looks like we got ourselves with a Spike one as well. Got a Spirit Star. Nice. Go and throw some Spirit Stars over at some enemies there. And uh, I think that's going to be about it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching out here with Ori, uh, Will, and the Wiss. And I'll be seeing you guys when we go and jump into some Rayman Legends as well. And uh, with that being said, see you guys then. And peace.